Hello, uh, I'm James, uh, James Hewitt, designed the, uh, well, I was lead designer, sorry, on Fallout Factions from Modifius. Uh, I've been working in game design for about 10 years, worked on things for Games Workshop, Mantic Games, Steam Forge, a whole bunch of other things. And yeah, Fallout Factions is the latest game of mine that's coming out. I've uh, been working uh, with Modifius's uh, internal dev team for the past year, really like polishing and refining it. Uh, and I'm really happy with how the game's got to where it is now. We've uh, ended up with a game which stands alongside Wasteland Warfare as two separate games. This is a much more like quick, easy to get into, fast playing but very deep uh, game. About 30 minutes probably for a, a session with a two foot by three foot playing area. Ideal for organized play, but also great for people that are new to the hobby in general. Yeah, so um, I've been playing games like this, like miniature skirmish games for most of my life. Uh, and I've played a lot of different ones over the years. I've worked on quite a few. I've worked on uh, Necromunda for Games Workshop, which came out in 2017. And um, this is kind of the culmination of a lot of, a lot of that really, a lot of what I want to see in a game. So it's a game that offers the player a lot of decisions and really like boils down to the most the key elements of gameplay. Uh, it's why we have a small play area, it's why a game only lasts like three rounds. Every action you make has a lot of weight to it and has a lot of meaning. So uh, for example, in a, in a round of play, if you've got eight models on the, on the field, you've got 16 actions really that you can make. And each one of those wants to be, you know, meaningful and impactful in some way. I don't like it when games give you choices that, you know, don't really mean much. Uh, one of the other things that really helps is the way that you can combine your actions together. So for example, when a model opens fire on, on an enemy, other nearby models can add supporting fire, giving you bonus dice into your dice roll, uh, costing their actions, but also kind of making it, you know, you can club things together. When you get into things like uh, the Brotherhood of Steel and Super Mutants, who are some of the big, scariest factions in the game, you're going to outnumber them quite heavily, but you're going to need to throw three or four actions together at a time to hurt them even slightly. Um, and so the game bounces out in, in this fun way where the action economy at the heart of it really, yeah, works to make it a balanced game. Also, um, one of the things that speeds it up is in a lot of games like this where, you know, one model at a time goes, the end of the round is kind of, it loses a lot of meaning. Like you have, um, oh, I'll, I suppose I'll move over here. I suppose I'll take a shot. Don't really, it's not gonna do, do a huge amount, but I'll give it a go. Here. When you get to the end of the round, you haven't got many actions left. You can choose to pass, which means you don't make any more actions, but you get the first turn of the next round. So you get the jump on your opponent, and it gives again gives the player some really interesting choices. We're shipping uh, the Fallout Factions core box in April May time. It's up for pre-order currently. Uh, it's $110, or I believe 80 pounds in the UK, and uh, in there you get four, two uh, sets of ten raiders, the operators, and the pack. You get a bunch of really cool junky card terrain, you get all the dice, you get a tiny tape measure which is adorable, uh, you get uh, your rule book, everything you need to play including like campaign rules and all that kind of stuff, it's the full game. Uh, we've also got the different Raider models available separately, so the pack and the operators that are in the box, and we've got the disciples who are the third faction that are covered in the book, uh, and they're all taken from the uh, Fallout 4 Nuclear World DLC where they're a bunch of Raiders who have taken over and abandoned the theme park. Um, also online we've got available to pre-order the uh, dice sets for each one. Uh, I think the pack dice set is the nicest one. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd say it'll be shipping fairly soon, but you can get the, the plastics uh, soon. And they are really nice plastics. If you haven't had a look at these, I'll pop the sprue down so you can uh, have a little look at these. They are designed by a uh, sculptor by Colin Grayson, who's an X Games Workshop sculptor. Incredibly detailed. They fit together really nicely. 10 models in the kit, everyone's got two options apart from the leader who's got three. So buy two boxes, have 20 unique models. It's uh, it's a really cool set. I'm really happy with how Factions has, has turned out as a product, and I can't wait to see it being played at tournaments, gaming stores, everywhere really. And uh, if you like the look of it, hey, Griffin Gaming have actually got a box of Disciples to give away, so check out the description below for the details. This could be yours. Good luck.